Play after me. On E. On A. That's right. On D. best and if you're advanced make it feel good you can never make it feel too good make that feel good If it's too hard for you, just do your best with what you can. G. Make it feel good. real quick shake it out for one quick sec if this is your first time to this channel subscribe this is a channel where i'm putting out stuff like this all the time every week make sure you're subscribed to get it lots of materials here to help you become a more consistent confident musician and grow in your practice lots of styles all levels if this isn't the right style you like find another at my play alongs below we're going to do more of this playing back and forth like this but I'm also going to bring in some other concepts for you. So let's try it. Let's try a concept now. We're going to do both. I'm playing the A minor pentatonic scale, and we're going to do it in a sequence. So you learn the scale through the sequence, playing after me. Play that. Now I start on A. Make it feel good. Changing the sequence a little bit. Now I'm going to start on E. Now on G. playing that sequence on that pentatonic scale a lot of people they tell me like i already know my pentatonic scales do you <laughs> let's find out ah on e on e <laughs> on a that rhythm check this out playing that triplet
Instead of sliding, we do this hammer on. You can play those hammer ons on the entire scale, right? So, for example. trade. You play whatever you want after me. Whatever you want. That was a little self-indulgent. <laughs> Trading. tell you the secret here in a minute. It's probably something you're missing. I'm going to explain it to you in a minute. explain it to you. I'm going to explain it to you. So if you made it this far, then you earned the right to hear this. Maybe not, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. So the trick is what a lot of people do is they try to play duple rhythms over a triplet bass groove. Check it out. Listen. Da, 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 da. Triplets, right? And uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, so a lot of times people, they want to play fast because they think that playing fast creates energy, but you give away your energy if you play double time on this. You want to use those triplets. There's a lot of patience in that. So if you think about trying to build lines based on rhythms that come out of the triplet. Now listen, what I, everything I play now, it's, a, it's focused around that triplet, right? <laughs> Oh, da, 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 do, de, de, do, de, de, do. That's powerful, right? In this groove, in the context of any triplet groove, I think we want to use it. So 
So think about that and try to build rhythms that are based on the triplet. I'm going to let this go for you for a few more minutes. And before you get into that, I just want to make sure that you know about the opportunities to work with me in my weekly group classes. New students, you can even take a free private lesson with me. I'll show up with you on Zoom. Find out about all of that. Get on my email list to get special invites at christianhouse.com. All right, hit pause. Click on that right now. Click on the links below uh, or go to the website. Get on the mailing list. Sign up for a lesson with me and then jump right back into this and start playing. Go ahead. I'll wait. You ready? I'm going to roll this for you. Here we go. You got it. Two and three and four and five. 